The Turkic peoples are a collection of ethno-linguistic groups of Central, Eastern, Northern and Western Asia as well as parts of Europe and North Africa. They speak related languages belonging to the Turkic language family. They share, to varying degrees, certain cultural traits, common ancestry and historical backgrounds. In time, different Turkic groups came in contact with other ethnicities, absorbing them, leaving some Turkic groups more diverse than the others. Many vastly differing ethnic groups have throughout history become part of the Turkic peoples through language shift, acculturation, intermixing, adoption and religious conversion. In their genetic compositions, therefore, most Turkic groups differ significantly in origins from one group to the next. Despite this, many do share, to varying degrees, non-linguistic characteristics, including certain cultural traits, some ancestry from a common gene pool, and historical experiences. The most notable modern Turkic-speaking ethnic groups include Turkish people, Azerbaijanis, Uzbeks, Kazakhs, Turkmen and Kyrgyz people. Etymology The first known mention of the term Turk Old Turkic, Turek or Kok Turek Chinese, Tujue Old Tibetan, Durugu, Durgu meaning origin. Pinyin, Tujue, Middle Chinese Guangyun, Tuot Kuit applied to a Turkic group was in reference to the Gokturks in the 6th century. A letter by Ishbara Khagan to Emperor Wen of Sui in 585 described him as the Great Turk Khan. The Orhun inscriptions 735 CE use the terms Turk and Turek. Previous use of similar terms are of unknown significance, although some strongly feel that they are evidence of the historical continuity of the term and the people as a linguistic unit since early times. This includes Chinese records spring and autumn annals referring to a neighboring people as Bidi. During the 1st century CE, Pomponius Mela refers to the Tursi in the forests north of the Sea of Azov, and Pliny the Elder lists the Tyre Sea among the people of the same area. There are references to certain groups in antiquity whose names could be the original form of Turk, Turek, such as Togurma, Turuka, Turuska, Turuku and so on. But the information gap is so substantial that we cannot firmly connect these ancient people to the modern Turks. Turkologist Andras Rona Tas posits that the term Turk could be rooted in the East Iranian Saka language or in Turkic. However, it is generally accepted that the term Turk is ultimately derived from the Old Turkic migration term, Turek, Torek, which means created, born, or strong, from the Old Turkic word root asterisk Turi, Tori, tribal root, mythic, ancestry, take shape, to be born, be created, arise, spring up, and conjugated with Old Turkic suffix, ik, perhaps from Proto-Turkic asterisk Turi k, lineage, ancestry, from the Proto-Turkic word root asterisk tor. Foundation, root, origin, ancestors, possibly from a Proto Altaic source asterisk t backquote re, law, regulation. This etymological concept is also related to Old Turkic word stems, to r, root, ancestry, race, kind of, sort of, turi, to bring together, to collect, toru, law, custom, and taz, substance. The earliest Turkic-speaking peoples identifiable in Chinese sources are the Dingaling, Gekan and Xinli, located in South Siberia. The Chinese Book of Zhou 7th century presents an etymology of the name Turk as derived from helmet, explaining that this name comes from the shape of a mountain where they worked in the Altai Mountains. According to Persian tradition, as reported by 11th century ethnographer Mahmud of Kashgar and various other traditional Islamic scholars and historians, the name Turk stems from Tur, one of the sons of Japheth. See Turin. During the Middle Ages, various Turkic peoples of the Eurasian steppe were subsumed under the identity of the Scythians. Between 400 CE and the 16th century, Byzantine sources use the name Skythai in reference to twelve different Turkic peoples. In the modern Turkish language, as used in the Republic of Turkey, a distinction is made between Turks and the Turkic peoples. In loosely speaking, the term Turk corresponds specifically to the Turkish-speaking people in this context. Turkish-speaking is considered the same as Turkic-speaking, while the term Turkey refers generally to the people of modern Turkic republics, Turkey Cumhuriyetler or Turk Cumhuriyetleri. 
However, the proper usage of the term is based on the linguistic classification in order to avoid any political sense. In short, the term Turkey can be used for Turk or vice versa. History Origins and early expansion It is generally agreed that the first Turkic people lived in a region extending from Central Asia to Siberia, with the majority of them living in China. Historically they were established after the 6th century BCE. The earliest separate Turkic peoples appeared on the peripheries of the late Xiongnu Confederation about 200 BCE contemporaneous with the Chinese Han Dynasty. Turkic people may be related to the Xiongnu, Dingaling and Tl people. According to the Book of Wei, the Tl people were the remnants of the Chidi, Kai Di the Red Di people competing with the Jin in the spring and autumn period. Turkic tribes such as the Khazars and Pechenegs probably lived as nomads for many years before establishing the Turkic Khaganate or Gokturk Empire in the 6th century. These were herdsmen and nobles who were searching for new pastures and wealth. The first mention of Turks was in a Chinese text that mentioned trade between Turk tribes and the Sogdians along the Silk Road. The first recorded use of Turk as a political name appears as a 6th century reference to the word pronounced in modern Chinese as Tuju. The Ashina clan migrated from Li Jian to the Wan Wan seeking inclusion in their confederacy and protection from the prevalent dynasty. The tribe were famed metalsmiths and were granted land near a mountain quarry which looked like a helmet, from which they were said to have gotten their name Tu Jue. Tu Jue. A century later, their power had increased such that they conquered the Wan Wan and established the Gok Empire. Turkic peoples originally used their own alphabets, like Orkhon and Yunisi runiforms, and later the Uyghur alphabet. Traditional national and cultural symbols of the Turkic peoples include wolves in Turkic mythology and tradition, as well as the color blue, iron, and fire. Turquoise blue, the word turquoise comes from the French word meaning Turkish is the color of the stone turquoise still used in jewelry and as a protection against the evil eye. It has often been suggested that the Xiongnu, mentioned in Han dynasty records, were proto-Turkic speakers. Although little is known for certain about the Xiongnu languages, it seems likely that at least a considerable part of Xiongnu tribes spoke a Turkic language. However, some scholars see a possible connection with the Iranian-speaking Sakas. Some scholars believe they were probably a confederation of various ethnic and linguistic groups. Genetics research in 2003 on skeletons from 2,000-year-old Xiongnu necropolis in Mongolia found some individuals with DNA sequences also present in some modern-day Turks, suggesting that a Turkish component had emerged in the Xiongnu tribe at the end of the Xiongnu period. In 2009, archaeologists found Turkic balbals which are 2,000 years old. According to another archaeological and genetic study in 2010, the DNA found in three skeletons in 2,000-year-old elite Xiongnu cemetery in northeast. Asia belonged to C3, D4 and R1A. The evidence of paternal R1A supports the Kurgan hypothesis for the Indo-European expansion from the Volga steppe region. The R1A was found in Xiongnu people and the present-day people of Central Asia. Analysis of skeletal remains from sites attributed to the Xiongnu provides an identification of dolichocephalic mongoloid, ethnically distinct from neighboring populations in present day Mongolia. Xiongnu writing, older than Turkic, is agreed to have the earliest known Turkic alphabet, the Orkhon script. This has been argued recently using the only extant possibly Xiongnu writings, the rock art of the Yinchen and Helen Mountains. It dates from the 9th millennium BCE to the 19th century, and consists mainly of engraved signs petroglyphs and few painted images. Excavations done during 1924–1925 in Noin Ula Kurgans located in the Selenga River in the northern Mongolian hills north of Ulaanbaatar produced objects with over 20 carved characters, which were either identical or very similar to the runic letters of the Turkic Orkhon script discovered in the Orkhon Valley. The Hun hordes ruled by Attila, who invaded and conquered much of Europe in the 5th century, might have been Turkic and descendants of the Xiongnu. Some scholars regard the Huns as one of the earlier Turkic tribes, while others view them as Proto-Mongolian in origin. Linguistic studies by Otto Manchin Helfen and others have suggested that the language used by the Huns in Europe was too little documented to be classified, but may have been an Indo-European language. Nevertheless, many of the proper names used by Huns appear to be Turkic in origin. 
In the first half of the first millennium, mass migrations to distant places were common, geographical borders were fluid and cultural identity was more likely to change dramatically during the lifetime of an individual, relative to the modern era. These factors also made it more likely that the Huns were, initially at least, closely related to the Turkic peoples. In the 6th century, 400 years after the collapse of northern Xiongnu power in Inner Asia, the Gokturks assumed leadership of the Turkic peoples. Formerly in the Xiongnu Nomadic Confederation, the Gokturks inherited their traditions and administrative experience. From 552 to 745, Gokturk leadership united the nomadic Turkic tribes into the Gokturk Empire on Mongolia and Central Asia. The name derives from Gok blue, or celestial. Unlike its Xiongnu predecessor, the Gokturk Khanate had its temporary Khans from the Ashina clan who were subordinate to a sovereign authority controlled by a council of tribal chiefs. The Khanate retained elements of its original shamanistic religion, Tengriism, although it received missionaries of Buddhist monks and practiced a syncretic religion. The Gokturks were the first Turkic people to write Old Turkic in a runic script, the Orkhon script. The Khanate was also the first state known as Turk. It eventually collapsed due to a series of dynastic conflicts, but many states and peoples later used the name Turk. Turkic peoples and related groups migrated west from Turkestan and present-day Mongolia towards Eastern Europe, the Iranian Plateau and Anatolia modern Turkey in many waves. The date of the initial expansion remains unknown. After many battles, they established their own state and later constructed the Ottoman Empire. The main migration occurred in medieval times, when they spread across most of Asia and into Europe and the Middle East. They also took part in the military encounters of the Crusades. Later Turkic peoples include the Karluks, mainly 8th century, Uyghurs, Kyrgyz, Oghuz or Guz, Turks, and Turkmens. As these peoples founded states in the area between Mongolia and Transoxiana, they came into contact with Muslims, and most of them gradually adopted Islam. Small groups of Turkic people practice other religions, including Christians, Jews, Khazars, Buddhists, and Zoroastrians. Other traditions see Tagarma grandson of Japheth the son of Noah as the ancestor of the Turkic peoples. For example, the French Benedictine monk and scholar Kalmay places Tagarma in Scythia and Turkomania in the Eurasian steppes and Central Asia. Also in his letters, King Joseph ben Aaron, the ruler of the Khazars in the mid-10th century, writes, You ask us also in your epistle. Of what people, of what family, and of what tribe are you? Know that we are descended from Noach's son Yafet, through his son Gomer, through his son Tagarma. I have found in the genealogical books of my ancestors that Tagarma had ten sons. These are their names. The eldest was Ujur, Agior, Uyghurs. The second Tories, Tarash, Tori. The third Avar, Avor, Pannonian Avars. The fourth Uauz, Ugin, Ogas. The fifth Bizal, Bizal, Pesheneg. The sixth Tarna, the seventh Hazar, Hazar, the eighth Janner, Zagur, the ninth Bulgar, Balgor, Bulgar, the tenth Saadar, Shavir, Shabir, Sabir. Jewish sources also list Tagarma as the father of the Turkic peoples. The medieval Jewish scholar Joseph Ben Gorion lists in his Josephon, c. 10th century, the ten sons of Togarma as follows: Kozer, the Kazars, Pesanak, the Pesanegs. Alakanish the Alans, Bulgar the Bulgars, Ragbiga Ragbina Ranbona, Turkey possibly the Gokturks, Buz the Ogas, Zabuk, Ungari either the Hungarians or the Ogres Onogers, Tilmik Tilmik Tarash Tori the Chronicles of Jeremiel lists them as, Kuzer the Kazars, Pasinak the Pesinegs, Alan the Alans. Bulgar, the Bulgars, Kanbina, Turk, possibly the Gokturks, Buz, the Ogas, Zakuk, Ugar, either the Hungarians or the Ogars, Onogars, Tulmas, Tarash, Tori, another medieval rabbinic work, the Book of Jasher, further corrupts these same names into Buzar, the Kazars, Parzanak, the Pesinegs, Balgar, the Bulgars, Elikanim, the Alans. Ragbib Tarki possibly the Gokturks Bid the Ogas Zebek Ongol Hungarians or Ogres Onogers 
Tilmas Tarash, Tori, Arabic records give Togormas tribes as Hazar the Khazars, Badsanig the Pechenegs, Asz Alan the Alans, Bulgar the Bulgars, Zabub, Fitrak Kotrak, Ko Etrak. Etrak means Turks, possibly Gokturks, Nabir, Anzer Ajur, Talmish Tarash, Tori. Adzigar Adjigardak, the Arabic account however, also adds an eleventh clan, Ansa. Yet another tradition of the sons of Tagarma appears in Pseudo-Philo, giving their names as Abiyad, Safath, Asapla, and Zephthar. The Chronicles of Jeremiel, in addition to giving Sefer Hayashir Midrash, the above names from Yosipan, elsewhere lists Tagarma's sons similarly as Abahud, Shafat, and Yaftar. Topic. Middle Ages Turkic soldiers in the army of the Abbasid caliphs emerged as the de facto rulers of most of the Muslim Middle East apart from Syria and Egypt, particularly after the 10th century. The Oghuz and other tribes captured and dominated various countries under the leadership of the Seljuk dynasty and eventually captured the territories of the Abbasid dynasty and the Byzantine Empire. Meanwhile, the Yenisei Kyrgyz allied with China to destroy the Uyghur Khaganate in 840. The Kyrgyz people ultimately settled in the region now referred to as Kyrgyzstan. The Bulgars established themselves in between the Caspian and Black Seas in the 5th and 6th centuries, followed by their conquerors, the Khazars who converted to Judaism in the 8th or 9th century. After them came the Pechenegs who created a large confederacy, which was subsequently taken over by the Cumans and the Kipchaks. One group of Bulgars settled in the Volga region and mixed with local Volga Finns to become the Volga Bulgars in what is today Tatarstan. These Bulgars were conquered by the Mongols following their westward sweep under Genghis Khan in the 13th century. Other Bulgars settled in southeastern Europe in the 7th and 8th centuries, and mixed with the Slavic population, adopting what eventually became the Slavic-Bulgarian language. Everywhere, Turkic groups mixed with the local populations to varying degrees. In 1090–91, the Turkic Pechenegs reached the walls of Constantinople, where Emperor Alexius I with the aid of the Kipchaks annihilated their army. Topic Islamic empires As the Seljuk Empire declined following the Mongol invasion, the Ottoman Empire emerged as the new important Turkic state, that came to dominate not only the Middle East, but even southeastern Europe, parts of southwestern Russia, and northern Africa. The Delhi Sultanate is a term used to cover five short lived, Delhi based kingdoms, three of which were of Turkic origin in medieval India. These Turkic dynasties were the Mamluk dynasty 1206 the Khalji dynasty 1290 and the Tughlaq dynasty 1320 Southern India, also saw many Turkic origin dynasties like Bahmani Sultanate, Adil Shahi dynasty, Bidar Sultanate, Qutb Shahi dynasty, collectively known as Deccan Sultanates. In Eastern Europe, Volga Bulgaria became an Islamic state in 922 and influenced the region as it controlled many trade routes. In the 13th century, Mongols invaded Europe and established the Golden Horde in Eastern Europe, Western and Northern Central Asia, and even Western Siberia. The Cuman Kipchak Confederation and Islamic Volga Bulgaria were absorbed by the Golden Horde in the 13th century. In the 14th century, Islam became the official religion under Uzbeg Khan, where the general population Turks as well as the aristocracy Mongols came to speak the Kipchak language and were collectively known as Tatars by Russians and Westerners. This country was also known as the Kipchak Khanate and covered most of what is today Ukraine, as well as the entirety of modern-day southern and eastern Russia, the European section. The Golden Horde disintegrated into several khanates and hordes in the 15th and 16th century including the Crimean Khanate, Khanate of Kazan, and Kazakh Khanate among others, which were one by one conquered and annexed by the Russian Empire in the 16th through 19th centuries. In Siberia, the Siberian Khanate was established in the 1490s by fleeing Tatar aristocrats of the disintegrating Golden Horde who established Islam as the official religion in western Siberia over the partly Islamized native Siberian Tatars and indigenous Uralic peoples. It was the northernmost Islamic state in recorded history and it survived up until 1598 when it was conquered by Russia. The Chagatai Khanate was the eastern and southern Central Asian section of the Mongol Empire in what is today part or whole of Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Xinjiang 
Like the Mogulistan and Golden Horde, the Chagatai Khanate became a Muslim state in the 14th century. The Timurid Empire were an Uzbek-based Turkic empire founded in the late 14th century by Timurlane, a descendant of Genghis Khan. Timur, although a self-proclaimed devout Muslim, brought great slaughter in his conquest of fellow Muslims in neighboring Islamic territory and contributed to the ultimate demise of many Muslim states, including the Golden Horde. The Mughal Empire was a Turkic-founded Indian Empire that, at its greatest territorial extent, ruled most of the South Asia, including Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and parts of Uzbekistan from the early 16th to the early 18th centuries. The Mughal dynasty was founded by a Chagatai Turkic prince named Babur reigned 1526 who was descended from the Turkic conqueror Timur Tamerlane on his father's side and from Chagatai, second son of the Mongol ruler Genghis Khan, on his mother's side. A further distinction was the attempt of the Mughals to integrate Hindus and Muslims into a united Indian state. The Safavid dynasty of Persia were of mixed ancestry, Kurdish and Azerbaijani, which included intermarriages with Georgian, Circassian, and Pontic Greek dignitaries. Through intermarriage and other political considerations, the Safavids spoke Persian and Turkish, and some of the Shahs composed poems in their native Turkish language. Concurrently, the Shahs themselves also supported Persian literature, poetry and art projects including the Grand Shahnama of Shah Tamasp. The Safavid dynasty ruled parts of Greater Iran for more than two centuries, and established the Twelver school of Shia Islam as the official religion of their empire, marking one of the most important turning points in Muslim history. The Afsharid dynasty was named after the Turkic Afshar tribe to which they belonged. The Afshars had migrated from Turkestan to Azerbaijan in the 13th century. The dynasty was founded in 1736 by the military commander Nader Shah who deposed the last member of the Safavid dynasty and proclaimed himself king of Iran. Nader belonged to the Queriklu branch of the Afshars. During Nader's reign, Iran reached its greatest extent since the Sassanid Empire. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Muslim Turks and non-Muslim Turks. The Muslim Kara Khanid Turks performed a mass conversion campaign against the Buddhist Uyghur Turks during the Islamicization and Turkicization of Xinjiang. The non-Muslim Turks' worship of Tengri was mocked and insulted by the Muslim Turk Mahmud al-Kashgari, who wrote a verse referring to them, the infidels, may God destroy them. The Basmal, Yabaku, and Uyghur states were among the Turkic peoples who fought against the Kara Khanid spread of Islam. The Islamic Kara Khanids were made out of Tukai, Yagma, Sigil, and Karlik. Kashgari claimed that the Prophet assisted in a miraculous event where 700,000 Yabaka infidels were defeated by 40,000 Muslims led by Arslan Tegan, claiming that fires shot sparks sparks from gates located on a green mountain towards the Yabaka. The Yabaka were a Turkic people, the Muslim Kara Khanid Turk Mahmud Kashgari insulted the Uyghur Buddhists as Uyghur dogs and called them tats, which referred to the Uyghur infidels, according to the Tuxi and Tagma, while other Turks called Persians tat, while Kashgari displayed a different attitude towards the Turks' diviners' beliefs and national customs. He expressed towards Buddhism a hatred in his Diwan where he wrote the verse cycle on the war against Uyghur Buddhists. Buddhist origin words like Toyan a cleric or priest and Berksan or Firksan meaning Buddha, acquiring the generic meaning of idol in the Turkic language of Kashgari had negative connotations to Muslim Turks. <laughs> Murals and statues of medieval Turks Professor James A. Millward described the original Uyghurs as phenotypically mongoloid until they began to mix with the Tarim Basin's original, Caucasoid inhabitants, such as the Tocharians and Eastern Iranian peoples. The Uyghurs of the Kocho and Turfan, whose ancestors had adopted the Buddhism of the Tocharians when they settled in the Tarim, were forcibly converted to Islam during a Ghazat holy war by the Chagatai Khan Khazir Khwaja. After they had converted to Islam, subsequent generations of Uyghurs came to believe, falsely, that the infidel Kalmuks had built Buddhist monuments in the area. The Buddhist murals at the Beziklik Thousand Buddha Caves were damaged by local Muslim population whose religion proscribed figurative images of sentient beings, the eyes and mouths in particular were often gouged out. Pieces of some murals were broken off for use as fertilizer by the locals. Turks in Arabic texts 
The Arab Muslim Umayyads and Abbasids fought against the pagan Turks in the Muslim conquest of Transoxiana. The Muslims built ribats military fortifications against the non-Muslim Turks in Transoxiana. The medieval Arabs recorded that medieval Turks looked strange from their perspective and were extremely physically different from the Arabs, calling them broad-faced people with small eyes. Medieval Muslim writers noted that Tibetans and Turks resembled each other and often were not able to tell the difference between Turks and Tibetans. The Hadith collection Sahih al Bukhari records a Sahih Hadith by Muhammad on the Turks narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger. Sly al -Lai Walem said, The hour will not be established until you fight with the Turks, people with small eyes, red faces, and flat noses. Their faces will look like shields coated with leather. The hour will not be established till you fight with people whose shoes are made of hair. Hadathana Saidu Banu Muhammadi Hadathana Yakabu Hadathana Abi and Salihi Ani Alaraji Kala Kala Abu Harirata Rodi Al Nh Kala Rasulu Alahi Sly Al Lai Walem. Latikamu al Satu Hate Tu Katalua al Turka Sighara Alayuni Humra al Wujuhi Dulfa Alaunufi Kana Wujuhahumu al Majanu al Mudarakatu Walatikamu al Satu Hate Tu Katalua Kama Nialuhumu al Sheru. Another Sahih al Bukhari hadith says, narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet Sly al Lai Walem said, The hour will not be established till you fight a nation wearing hairy shoes, and till you fight the Turks, who will have small eyes, red faces, and flat noses, and their faces will be like flat shields. And you will find that the best people are those who hate responsibility of ruling most of all till they are chosen to be the rulers. And the people are of different natures, the best in the pre-Islamic period are the best in Islam. A time will come when any of you will love to see me rather than to have his family and property doubled. Hadathana Abu Aliamani Akbarana Shabu Hadathana Abu Alzinadi Ani Alaraji An Abi Harirata Rodi Al Nh Ani Al Nabi Sly Al Lai Walem Kala. Latikamu al Satu Hate Tu Katalua Kama Nialuhumu al Sheru Wa Hate Tu Katalua al Turka Sighara Alayuni Humra al Wujuhi Dulfa Alanu Fi Kana Wujuhahumu al Majanu al Mutrakatu. Wadajiduna min kairai al nasi ashadam karahiyata lihata alamri hate yaka fihi walnasu madinu kiruam fi al jahiliyati kiruam fi al islami. Wilayatiyana alay ahadikam zamanu lan yarani ahabu alayi min an yakuna lahu midlu alihi wamalihi. A Sahih hadith is also found in Sahih Muslim. Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger Sly al -lai Walem as saying, The last hour would not come until the Muslims fight with the Turks a people whose faces would be like hammered shields wearing clothes of hair and walking with shoes of hair. Hadathana Qutaybatu Banu Saidi Hadathana Yaqabu Yani Abna Abdi Aurmani and Sahali and Abihi and Abi Harirata Ana Rasula Alahi Sly al -lai Walem Kala. Latikamu al Satu Hate U Katala al Muslimuna al Turka Kama Wujuhuhum Kalmajani al Mutrakati Yalbasuna al Shara Wayamshana Fi al Shari. A Sahih hadith is also found in Sunan Nasai. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah Sly al -Lai Walem said, The hour will not begin until the Muslims fight the Turks, a people with faces like hammered shields who wear clothes made of hair and shoes made of hair. Akbarana Qutaybatu Kala Hadathana Yakabu and Sahali and Abihi and Abi Harirata Ana Rasula Alahi Sly al Lai Walem Kala. Latikamu al Satu Hate U Katala al Muslimuna al Turka Kama Wujuhuhum Kalmajani al Mutarakati Yalbasuna al Shara Wayamshana Fi al Shari. A Sahih hadith is also found in Abu Dawud Abu Harira reported the Prophet may peace be upon him as saying, the last hour will not come before the Muslims fight with the Turks, a people whose faces look as if they were shields covered with skin, and who will wear sandals of hair. Hadathana Qutaybatu Hadathana Yaqabu Yani Alayskandarania and Sahali Yani Abna Abi Salihi and Abihi and Abi Harirata Ana Rasula Alahi Sly Al Lai Walamkal Latikamu Al Satu Hate Ukatala Al Muslimuna Al Turka Kama Wujuhuhum Kalmajani Al Mutrakati Yalbasuna Al Shara. A Daif hadith is found in Abu Dawud, Baraita said, in the tradition telling that people with small eyes, i.e. the Turks, will fight against you, the Prophet Sly al -Lai Walem said, you will drive them off three times till you catch up with them in Arabia. On the first occasion when you drive them off those who fly will be safe, on the second occasion some will be safe and some will perish, but on the third occasion they will be extirpated, or he said words to that effect. 
Hadathana Jafaru Banu Musafiri Altanishu Hadathana Kaladu Banu Yaye Hadathana Bashiru Banu Almuhajiri Hadathana Abdu Allahi Banu Baridata and Abihi Ani Alnabi Sly Al Lai Walem Fi Hadith Ukatalukam Kamu Sigharu Alayuni Yani Alturka Kala Tasiknaham Thalatha Murari Hate Tulhikwam Bijazirati Alarabi Fama Fai Alsiyakati Alaule Fayanju Manharaba Minam Wama Fai Aldaniati Fayanju Bidu Wayalaku Bidu Wama Fai Aldaladati Fayastalamuna. Akama Kala The Arab Muslims identified Banu Quintora as the Turks. They were described as the Banu Quintora people with wide faces and small eyes, or a people with flat faces and small eyes they have faces like shields covered with leather. A hadith is found in Abu Dawud, narrated Abu Bakra, the Apostle of Allah peace underscore be underscore upon underscore him said, Some of my people will alight on low-lying ground, which they will call al-Basra, beside a river called Dajjal the Tigris over which there is a bridge. Its people will be numerous and it will be one of the capital cities of immigrants or one of the capital cities of Muslims, according to the version of Ibn Yahya who reported from Abu Ma'amar. At the end of time the descendants of Quintora will come with broad faces and small eyes and alight on the bank of the river. The town's inhabitants will then separate into three sections, one of which will follow cattle and live in the desert and perish, another of which will seek security for themselves and perish, but a third will put their children behind their backs and fight the invaders, and they will be the martyrs. <laughs> Turks in European accounts the Turkomans observe a difference between their children from Turkoman mothers, and those from the Persian female captives whom they take as wives, and the Kazakh women whom they purchase from the Uzbeks of Kiva. The Turkomans of pure race enjoy full privileges, while the others are not allowed to contract marriages with Turkoman women of pure blood, but must choose themselves wives among the half-castes and Kazakh captives. As there exists a great animosity between the Yamuds and Gokhlans they do not intermarry, although they reckon themselves of equally noble lineage. The same hatred is extended to the Tek Turkomans, whom the Gokhlans and Yamuds, moreover, look upon as their inferiors, being, according to their genealogies, the descendants of a slave woman, whilst they are the posterity of a free woman. p. 71. The more intimate connection of the Astrakhan and Kazan Tartars with the Mughals can be traced in their features, with the Nogay it is less visible. In like manner, the Turkomans further off in the desert, and the Uzbeks of Kaif, have more of the Mughal expression than the Turkomans who encamp near the Persian frontier. The frequent intercourse of the Nogay, in latter years, with the Cherkis, seems to have improved their race, and notwithstanding the enmity that exists between the Turkomans and the Persians, it is still not unlikely that their close vicinity should have produced on the former a similar effect in a lapse of several centuries. The fact we have seen, that the Turkomans marry Persian women, when they take them as prisoners. The Turkoman women are, like the men, tall, and when young, well-shaped, their faces are rounder than those of the men, the cheek bones less prominent, the eyes black, with fine eyebrows, and many with fair complexion, the nose is rather flat, the mouth small, with a row of regular white teeth. In a word, a great number of the younger part of the community might be reckoned as fair specimens of pretty women. p. 73. Bode, C.A. The Yamud and Gokhlan tribes of Turkomania. Journal of the London Ethnological Society, Vol. 1, 1848, pp. 60–78. <laughs> Modern history The Ottoman Empire gradually grew weaker in the face of poor administration, repeated wars with Russia and Austro-Hungary, and the emergence of nationalist movements in the Balkans, and it finally gave way after World War I to the present-day Republic of Turkey. Ethnic nationalism also developed in Ottoman Empire during the 19th century, taking the form of Pan-Turkism or Turanism. The Turkic peoples of Central Asia were not organized in nation-states during most of the 20th century, after the collapse of the Russian Empire living either in the Soviet Union or after a short-lived First East Turkestan Republic in the Chinese Republic. In 1991, after the disintegration of the Soviet Union, five Turkic states gained their independence. These were Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Other Turkic regions such as Tatarstan, Tuva, and Yakutia remained in the Russian Federation. Chinese Turkestan remained part of the People's Republic of China. Immediately after the independence of the Turkic states, Turkey began seeking diplomatic relations with them. 
Over time political meetings between the Turkic countries increased and led to the establishment of Turksoy in 1993 and later the Turkic Council in 2009. Ethnic groups Turkic ethnic groups are prominent in the world today and there have been Turkic nations in the past. The modern list includes The historical list includes the origins of the Huns, Tuba, and Zongnu are unknown but may be of Turkic ancestry. Geographical distribution Many of the Turkic peoples have their homelands in Central Asia, where the Turkic peoples settled from China. According to historian John Foster, "...the Turks emerged from among the Huns in the middle of the 5th century." They were living in Liang territory when it began to be overrun by the greater principality of Wei. Preferring to remain under the rule of their own kind, they moved westward into what is now the province of Kansu. This was the territory of kindred Huns, who were called the Roran. The Turks were a small tribe of only 500 families, and they became serfs to the Roran, who used them as iron workers. It is thought that the original meaning of Turk is helmet, and that they may have taken this name because of the shape of one of the hills near which they worked. As their numbers and power grew, their chief made bold to ask for the hand of a Roran princess in marriage. The demand was refused, and war followed. In 546, the iron workers defeated their overlords." Since then Turkic languages have spread, through migrations and conquests, to other locations including present-day Turkey. While the term Turk may refer to a member of any Turkic people. The term Turkish usually refers specifically to the people and language of the modern country of Turkey. The Turkic languages constitute a language family of some 30 languages, spoken across a vast area from Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean, to Siberia and Western China, and through to the Middle East. Some 170 million people have a Turkic language as their native language, an additional 20 million people speak a Turkic language as a second language. The Turkic language with the greatest number of speakers is Turkish proper, or Anatolian Turkish, the speakers of which account for about 40% of all Turkic speakers. More than one-third of these are ethnic Turks of Turkey, dwelling predominantly in Turkey proper and formerly Ottoman-dominated areas of Eastern Europe and West Asia, as well as in Western Europe, Australia and the Americas as a result of immigration. The remainder of the Turkic people are concentrated in Central Asia, Russia, the Caucasus, China, and Northern Iraq. At present, there are six independent Turkic countries, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Turkey, Uzbekistan. There are also several Turkic national subdivisions in the Russian Federation including Bashkortostan, Tatarstan, Chuvashia, Kakassia, Tuva, Yakutia, the Altai Republic, kabardino balkaria and karachievo cherkessia each of these subdivisions has its own flag, parliament, laws, and official state language in addition to Russian. The Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in western China and the Autonomous Region of Gagazia, located within eastern Moldova and bordering Ukraine to the north, are two major autonomous Turkic regions. The Autonomous Republic of Crimea within Ukraine is a home of Crimean Tatars. In addition, there are several communities found in Iraq, Georgia, Bulgaria, the Republic of Macedonia, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Western Mongolia. The Turks in Turkey are over 60 million to 70 million worldwide, while the second largest Turkic people are the Azerbaijanis, numbering 22 to 38 million worldwide, most of them live in Azerbaijan and Iran. Turks in India are very small in number. There are barely 150 Turkish people from Turkey in India. These are recent immigrants. Descendants of Turkish rulers also exist in northern India. Mughals who are part Turkic people also live in India in significant numbers. They are descendants of the Mughal rulers of India. Karluk Turks are also found in the Haraza region and in smaller number in Azad Kashmir region of Pakistan. Small amount of Uyghurs are also present in India. Turks also exist in Pakistan in similar proportions. One of the tribe in Hazara region of Pakistan is Karluk Turks which is direct descendant of Turks of Central Asia. Turkish influence in Pakistan can be seen through the national language, Urdu, which comes from a Turkish word meaning horde or army. 
the Western Uyghur at Gansu in China, Salar at Qinghai in China, the Dolgan at Krasnoyarsk Krai in Russia, and the Nogai at Dagestan in Russia are the Turk minorities in the respective regions. Topic: <laughs> International organizations. There are several international organizations created with the purpose of furthering cooperation between countries with Turkic-speaking populations, such as the Joint Administration of Turkic Arts and Culture and the Parliamentary Assembly of Turkic-speaking Countries The newly established Turkic Council, founded on November 3, 2009 by the Nakhchivan Agreement Confederation, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Turkey, aims to integrate these organizations into a tighter geopolitical framework. The TAKM, Organization of the Eurasian Law Enforcement Agencies with Military Status, established on 25 January 2013. Demographics The distribution of people of Turkic cultural background ranges from Siberia, across Central Asia, to Eastern Europe. As of 2011 the largest groups of Turkic people live throughout Central Asia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Azerbaijan, in addition to Turkey and Iran. Additionally, Turkic people are found within Crimea, Altashar region of western China, northern Iraq, Israel, Russia, Afghanistan, and the Balkans, Moldova, Bulgaria, Romania, and former Yugoslavia. A small number of Turkic people also live in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. Small numbers inhabit eastern Poland and the southeastern part of Finland. There are also considerable populations of Turkic people originating mostly from Turkey in Germany, United States, and Australia, largely because of migrations during the 20th century. Sometimes ethnographers group Turkic people into six branches, the Oghuz Turks, Kipchak, Karlik, Siberian, Chuvash, and Saka, Yakut branches. The Oghuz have been termed Western Turks, while the remaining five, in such a classificatory scheme, are called Eastern Turks. Much of the Turkic population of Central Asia has significant Caucasoid and Mongoloid ancestry. The genetic distances between the different populations of Uzbeks scattered across Uzbekistan is no greater than the distance between many of them and the Karakalpaks. This suggests that Karakalpaks and Uzbeks have very similar origins. The Karakalpaks have a somewhat greater bias towards the eastern markers than the Uzbeks. Historical population the Turkic people display a great variety of ethnic types. They possess physical features ranging from Caucasoid to Northern Mongoloid. Mongoloid and Caucasoid facial structure is common among many Turkic groups, such as Chuvash people, Tatars, Kazakhs, Uzbeks, and Bashkirs. The following incomplete list of Turkic people shows the respective group's core areas of settlement and their estimated sizes in millions. Minorities in Turkic countries Azerbaijan Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan Turkey Turkmenistan Uzbekistan Topic. Past and future population List of countries by past and future population provide 1950, 2000 and 2050 population while list of countries by future population United Nations, medium fertility variant provide 2100 population Topic. Land and water area exclude Caspian Sea. This list includes dependent territories within their sovereign states including uninhabited territories, but does not include claims on Antarctica. EEZ plus TIA is Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ plus Total Internal Area TIA which includes land and internal waters. Language. The Turkic alphabets are sets of related alphabets with letters formerly known as runes, used for writing mostly Turkic languages. Inscriptions in Turkic alphabets were found in Mongolia. 
Most of the preserved inscriptions were dated to between 8th and 10th centuries CE. The earliest positively dated and read Turkic inscriptions date from c. 150, and the alphabets were generally replaced by the Old Uyghur alphabet in the Central Asia, Arabic script in the Middle and Western Asia, Greek-derived Cyrillic in Eastern Europe and in the Balkans, and Latin alphabet in Central Europe. The latest recorded use of Turkic alphabet was recorded in Central Europe's Hungary in 1699 CE. The Turkic runiform scripts, unlike other typologically close scripts of the world, do not have a uniform paleography as, for example, have the Gothic runes, noted for the exceptional uniformity of its language and paleography. The Turkic alphabets are divided into four groups, the best known of them is the Orkhon version of the Anise group. The Orkhon script is the alphabet used by the Gokturks from the 8th century to record the Old Turkic language. It was later used by the Uyghur Empire. A Yenisei variant is known from 9th century Kyrgyz inscriptions, and it has likely cousins in the Talas Valley of Turkestan and the Old Hungarian script of the 10th century. The Turkic language family is traditionally considered to be part of the proposed Altaic language family. The various Turkic languages are usually considered in geographical groupings: the Oghuz or southwestern languages, the Kipchak or northwestern languages, the eastern languages like Uyghur, the northern languages like Altay and Yakut, and one existing Oghur language, Chuvash. The other Oghur languages like Hunnic and Bulgaric are now extinct. The high mobility and intermixing of Turkic peoples in history makes an exact classification extremely difficult. The Turkish language belongs to the Oghuz subfamily of Turkic. It is for the most part mutually intelligible with the other Oghuz languages, which include Azerbaijani, Gagaz, Turkmen and Urim, and to a varying extent with the other Turkic languages. Cuisine <coughs> <coughs> Markets in the steppe region had a limited range of foodstuffs available—mostly grains, dried fruits, spices, and tea. Turks mostly herded sheep, goats and horses. Dairy was a staple of the nomadic diet and there are many Turkic words for various dairy products such as soot milk, yagh butter, iron, kamak similar to clotted cream, chi, mi, z fermented mare's milk and curet dried yogurt. During the Middle Ages Kazakh, Kyrgyz and Tatars, who were historically part of the Turkic nomadic group known as the Golden Horde, continued to develop new variations of dairy products. Nomadic Turks cooked their meals in a kazan, a pot similar to a cauldron. A wooden rack called a kaskin can be used to prepare certain steamed foods, like the traditional meat dumplings called monti. They also used a saj, a griddle that was traditionally placed on stones over a fire, and shish. In later times, the Persian tava was borrowed from the Persians for frying, but traditionally nomadic Turks did most of their cooking using the kazan, saj and shish. Meals were served in a bowl, called a chanak, and eaten with a knife bichak, and spoon kashi, q. Both bowl and spoon were historically made from wood. Other traditional utensils used in food preparation included a thin rolling pin called oklagu, a colander called suzgu, and a grinding stone called tagerman. Medieval grain dishes included preparations of whole grains, soups, porridges, breads and pastries. Fried or toasted whole grains were called kawirmak, while kocha was crushed grain that was cooked with dairy products. Salma were broad noodles that could be served with boiled or roasted meat. Cut noodles were called tutmaj in the Middle Ages and are called kesmi today. There are many types of bread doughs in Turkic cuisine. Yupka is the thinnest type of dough, bawi, rsaq is a type of fried bread dough, and chalpak is a deep-fried flat bread. Katlama is a fried bread that may be sprinkled with dried fruit or meat, rolled, and sliced like pinwheel sandwiches. Tokash and chorik are varieties of bread, and borik is a type of filled pie pastry. Herd animals were usually slaughtered during the winter months and various types of sausages were prepared to preserve the meats, including a type of sausage called sujik. Though prohibited by Islamic dietary restrictions, historically Turkic nomads also had a variety of blood sausage. One type of sausage, called kazi, was made from horse meat and another variety was filled with a mixture of ground meat, offal and rice. Chopped meat was called chaima and spit roasted meat was soklunch, from the root sok meaning, to tear off. The latter dish is known as kebab in modern times. Kawirma is a typical fried meat dish, and kalama is a soup of noodles and lamb. Topic. Religion Topic. Early Turkic mythology and Tengrism 
Pre-Islamic Turkic mythology was dominated by Tengrism and shamanism. The chief deity was Tengri, a sky god, worshipped by the upper classes of early Turkic society until Manichaeism was introduced as the official religion of the Uyghur Empire in 763. The wolf symbolizes honor and is also considered the mother of most Turkic peoples. Asina Ashina Tuwu is the wolf mother of Tuman il Kagan, the first Khan of the Gokturks. The horse and predatory birds, such as the eagle or falcon, are also main figures of Turkic mythology. Topic. Religious conversions Tengri Bogu Khan made the now extinct Manichaeism the state religion of Uyghur Khaganate in 763 and it was also popular in Karluks. It was gradually replaced by the Mahayana Buddhism. It existed in the Buddhist Uyghur Gaochang up to the 12th century. Tibetan Buddhism, or Vajrayana, was the main religion after Manichaeism. They worshipped Tari Turisi Berkson, Kwansi Im Pusar, and Maitri Berkson. Turkic Muslim conquest in the Indian subcontinent and West Xinjiang attributed with a rapid and almost total disappearance of it and other religions in North India and Central Asia. The Sari Uyghurs, Yellow Uyghurs of Western China, as well as the Tuvans and Altai of Russia are the only remaining Buddhist Turkic peoples. The Krimchaks of Eastern Europe especially Crimea are Jewish, and there are Turks of Jewish backgrounds who live in major cities such as Istanbul, Ankara and Baku. The Khazars widely practiced Judaism before their conversion to Islam, even though many Turkic peoples became Muslims under the influence of Sufis, often of Shia persuasion. Most Turkic people today are Sunni Muslims, although a significant number in Turkey are Alevis. Alevi Turks, who were once primarily dwelling in eastern Anatolia, are today concentrated in major urban centers in western Turkey with the increased urbanism. The major Christian Turkic peoples are the Chuvash of Chuvashia and the Gagas of Moldova. The traditional religion of the Chuvash of Russia, while containing many ancient Turkic concepts, also shares some elements with Zoroastrianism, Hazar Judaism, and Islam. The Chuvash converted to Eastern Orthodox Christianity for the most part in the second half of the 19th century. As a result, festivals and rites were made to coincide with Orthodox feasts, and Christian rites replaced their traditional counterparts. A minority of the Chuvash still profess their traditional faith. Church of the East was popular among Turks such as the Naimans. It even revived in Gaochang and expanded in Xinjiang in the Yuan dynasty period. It disappeared after its collapse. Topic. Old sports The KYZ Ku Chase the Girl it has been played by Turkic people at festivals since time immemorial. The jerried horses have been essential and even sacred animals for Turks living as nomadic tribes in the Central Asian steppes. Turks were born, grew up, lived, fought and died on horseback. So became jerried the most important sporting and ceremonial game of Turkish people. The Kokpar began with the nomadic Turkic peoples who have come from farther north and east, spreading westward from China and Mongolia between the 10th and 15th centuries. The jigit, which is used in the Caucasus and Central Asia to describe a skillful and brave equestrian, or a brave person in general. Gallery Beziklik Caves and Mogo Grottoes Images of Buddhist and Manichaean Turkic Uyghurs from the Beziklik Caves and Mogo Grottoes Medieval times Modern times See also Topic References Topic Further reading Alpamish, H. B. Paxoy, Central Asian Identity under Russian Rule, Hartford, AACAR, nineteen eighty nine H. B. Paxoy, nineteen eighty nine Alpamish, Central Asian Identity under Russian Rule, AACAR ISBN 978-0-9621379-9-0 Imanjalov A.S. History of the Ancient Turkic Script. Almaty. Mektep. 2003, ISBN 9965-16-204-2 
Bacharov S. Ya. Ancient Turkic Runic Monuments of the Europe. Stavropol, 1989 in Russian. Baskakov, N.A. 1962, 1969. Introduction to the Study of the Turkic Languages. Moscow in Russian. Beckwith, Christopher I. 2009, Empires of the Silk Road, A History of Central Eurasia from the Bronze Age to the Present. Princeton, Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691-13589-2. Boschuten, Hendrik and Lars Johansson, 2006. Turkic Languages in Contact. Turkologica, B.D. 61. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. ISBN 3-447-05212-0. Siobhan, Edouard Documents sur les Turkiue Turks Occidento. Paris, Library de Mirique et d'Orient. Reprint, Taipei. Cheng Wen Publishing Co., 1969. Clausen, Gerard, 1972. An Etymological Dictionary of Pre-13th Century Turkish. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Denai, Jean et al., 1959-1964. Philologia Tursicae Fundamenta. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. Findlay, Carter Vaughan, 2005. The Turks in World History. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-516770-8, ISBN 0-19-517726-6 PBK, Golden, Peter B. An Introduction to the History of the Turkic Peoples, Ethnogenesis and State Formation in Medieval and Early Modern Eurasia and the Middle East Otto Harisovitz, Wiesbaden ISBN 3 to 4470 x Peter B. Golden, the 1st of January 1992. An Introduction to the History of the Turkic Peoples: Ethnogenesis and State Formation in Medieval and Early Modern Eurasia and the Middle East. O. Harisovitz. ISBN 9783447032742. Haywood, Colin. The Turks, The Peoples of Europe, Blackwell, 2005. ISBN 9780631158974. Osler, Charles Warren. The Turks of Central Asia, Greenwood Press, November 1993. ISBN 0-275-93931-6. Ishjatams N. Nomads in Eastern Central Asia: In the History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Volume 2, UNESCO Publishing, 1996. ISBN 9231028464. Johansson, Lars and Eva Agnes Sato, ed. 1998. The Turkic Languages. London: Routledge. ISBN 0-415-08200-5. Johansson, Lars. 1998. The History of Turkic, in, Johansson and Sato, pp. 81-125. Classification of Turkic Languages Johansson, Lars, 1998. Turkic Languages, in, Encyclopædia Britannica. CD 98. Encyclopædia Britannica Online, 5 September, 2007. Turkic Languages, Linguistic History. Kaislasov I.L., Runic Scripts of Eurasian Steppes, Moscow, Eastern Literature, 1994, ISBN 5-02-017741-5. Lebedinsky, Ieroslav, 2006. Les Saises, Les Scythes Dazi, V. Siekel April. J. C., Editions Arons, Paris. ISBN 2-87772-337-2. Malav S.E., Monuments of the Ancient Turkic Inscriptions. Texts and Research, ML, 1951 in Russian. Mukhamadiev A., Turanian Writing, in Problems of Lingo-Ethno-History of the Tatar People, Kazan, 1995, Asgar Muhammadiev Taranska Apizmanost Problemi Lingvoetnoistori Tatarskogo Naroda Kazan 1995 in Russian. Mengis, K.H. 1968. The Turkic Languages and Peoples, An Introduction to Turkic Studies. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. Oztopsu, Kurtulis, 1996. Dictionary of the Turkic Languages, English, Azerbaijani, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Tatar, Turkish, Turkmen, Uyghur, Uzbek. London, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-14198-2 Samoyilovich, A.N. 1922. Some Additions to the Classification of the Turkish Languages. Petrograd. Shawnig, Claus, 1997-1998.
A new attempt to classify the Turkic languages I3, Turkic languages 1 to 1.117 to 133, 1 to 2.262 to 277, 2 to 1.130 to 151. Vasiliev D.D. Graphical Fund of Turkic Runiform Writing Monuments in Asian Aerial. M198 in Russian. Vasiliev D.D. Corpus of Turkic Runiform Monuments in the Basin of Anise. M1983 in Russian. Vegelin, C.F. and F.M. Vegelin, 1977. Classification and Index of the World's Languages. New York, Elsevier. Kanbagi, Apton, 2006. The Fire, the Star and the Cross, Minority Religions in Medieval and Early Modern Iran. I.B. Tories. ISBN 978-1845110567. Yarshader, Asan, 2001. Encyclopedia Iranica. Routledge and Keegan Paul. ISBN 0933273568. External links Turkish Studies, Turkic Republics, Regions, and Peoples at University of Michigan Turkshikent Orientals Links for Turkish Language Learning Turkshestan Orientals Links to Turkic Languages Crimean Tatar Internet Resource SNU DNA Results Probable Ancestors of Hungarian Ethnic Groups, an Admixture Analysis C. R. G. U. G. L. I. E. L. M. I. N. O. 1. A. De S. I. L. V. E. S. T. R. I. 2. And J. Barris M. T. D. N. A. And Y. Chromosome polymorphisms in Hungary. Inferences from the Paleolithic, Neolithic, and Uralic influences on the modern Hungarian gene pool. World History Study Guide. Dastan Turkic. At bookisings.com. The Altaic Epic downloadable article. Evidence that a West East admixed population lived in the Tarim Basin as early as the Early Bronze Age. Lee et al. BMC Biology 2010, 815. 4.